There is a lot of talk of MOI and forgiveness in drivers in 2021. Which driver is really the most forgiving? You're going to find out in this test. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. I have four driver models from the big four manufacturers. I've got Titleist, TaylorMade, Ping, and Callaway. And we are going to be testing forgiveness with the latest forgiving driver models. For today's test, I'm going to be testing the Ping G4 25 Max, the Callaway Epic Max, the TaylorMade Sim 2 Max, and the Titleist TSI 2. These are all very forgiving drivers that are hot and go really far, but it's important to talk about the mishits. So for today's test, I'm going to hit eight shots with each driver. That was a miss it. And I'm going to talk about the shots where I don't quite catch them perfect. When my efficiency number is a little lower, when that ball speed number is a little bit lower, and when I don't quite catch it in the middle of the club face. That is going to be important to focus on because we want to find out which driver really is the most forgiving driver out there. First up will be the Titleist TSI 2 driver. All the driver heads will have nine degrees of loft on them. I have our all fit adapter system, so I play the exact same golf shaft, and that golf shaft is going to be the Graphite Design XC6X at 45 inches in length. That shot there is a great example of forgiving. I feel like I left the face open. I did, about four degrees, but that spin rate stayed down. That was impressive. Okay, so it looks like we're testing at about 112 miles an hour club speed today. Just nice, smooth swings. I'm not trying to swing as fast as I can, I'm just trying to give reliable data. Um, so well, let's take a look at taking out the best three shots. So this is going to be important. So we'll take a look at the smash factor list right here. First thing we can see here is this shot right here was the highest efficiency. Notice it's very, very close to the middle of the face. So we can probably take that one out as one of our best shots. We've got a few here at 149 and 148. So the 148 for sure would stay in. Notice the ball speed was a little bit less. So let's look at the ball speed numbers and then let's look at the dispersion pattern here. Let's see here. This one here would probably be a little bit higher ball speed, so we'll take that one out. And let's see if there's anything else. This one here is a little further up there. Uh, let's see. That one actually was a little miss it. Kind of interesting there, a little less ball speed, but that high toe effect, catching the ball, a little high toe. Um, is going to cause the ball to go a little bit further and spin a little bit less. Let's see, one of these two will take out. So this one here looked like it's slightly closer to the middle, so let's take that out. So now we have the five shots that I didn't quite catch perfect on the middle of the face here. Um, so this would be a good test comparing the miss hits of them all. We'll notice spin rate around about 2300, carry about 290 going 306. Let's test the other models. Quite the sizable hook with this club. Before I dissect through these numbers and take away the three best shots to talk about the outliers, it's kind of interesting. If you look at the dispersion screen here, a general trend of drawing the ball a little bit more here with the Ping G425 Max. But let's, let's take away a couple of the really good shots. So first off, I want to take away this one. No, this one was smack right in the middle, fairly high ball speed. So we'll take that one away. Um, let's see if there's any others that, we've got a few 149s, we have a 146, so that one we'll keep up for sure. Um, let's see what we've got here, we got 167.5, we'll take that one out. Um, let's see if there's any other outliers in here as well. Let's see, one, 
Yeah, and then we'll take that last one, shot 16 out there as well. So it's kind of interesting, you can see, definitely got a little bit more draw action going on here with the Ping G425 Max versus, versus the TSI 2. It's kind of interesting, my club path was the exact same, but what's kind of interesting is the Titleist TSI 2, I was leaving my face angle a little bit more open with the Ping G425 Max. My face angle was dead square to the target. I wonder if there's any differences in hit location between the two of them, just to kind of see if there's anything that influenced that. When I was hitting the ping, my outliers, a little bit more out on the, on the toe side. Yeah, pretty much the same spot. So maybe a little easier to draw the ball with the ping G425 Max than the Titleist TSI 2. Let's hit next the Callaway Epic Max. That was definitely a left. This, uh, this Epic Max definitely seems a little more draw bias. And I have it in the neutral position. And I haven't changed, obviously, the, the cogs around. But yeah, a lot easier to draw. That was a miss it. Could miss it. I really was not hitting the Epic Max very well. So this would be a good test on forgiveness. You can kind of see here with my hit locations here, not quite that close to the middle of the club face. And that's what, notice what happened to my smash factor number and ball speed numbers. Got a little bit on the, on the lower side. So this would be a good test to see how well uh, the uh, Epic Max did perform on those miss hits. Now there was one in there, this one right here, that was more human error than anything would notice had my club face closed about 4.6 degrees on that shot. But you would notice a general trend. I had my club face pretty closed here with the Epic Max. So it's definitely a little more draw bias club compared to the TSI 2. Um, Ping G425 Max is over to the left side a little bit as well. Let's take out the best shots that I hit. So this is probably the best one, this last shot here. Uh, let's see if there's anything else that had a little bit more with regards to efficiency, probably that one there. And then if we look here and see distance wise, um, that one's kind of interesting there, only a 144 smash, but notice that particular shot did actually go, that particular shot there actually did go a little further. So I'm going to keep that up because that's definitely an outlier because a little less ball speed. So let's take one of these 146 smash factors out. Uh, let's take this one here out. Okay. So now we can kind of see there was definitely a significant drop here in, in the ball speed with the Epic Max and also the efficiency number. Uh, it's kind of interesting, even though I miss hit it, spin rate was a little bit less than the other two. So naturally it actually was keeping up because of distance, even though I had a little less, little less ball speed than the others. So finally we'll finish up with the TaylorMade Sim 2 Max. That's an interesting ball flight after seeing the ball go left of the last two drivers. That is really fascinating after hitting basically 16 shots in a row left with the Ping G425 Max and the Callaway Epic Max. The uh, Sim 2 Max generally seems to look like it's got a little more fade bias to it. Might have turned that one over. There we go. Might be a little right. Or a lot right. So TaylorMade Sim 2 is actually pretty solid. We'll notice a tendency to maybe miss it a little more right than the other two maybe more drawn bias models. The thing that stands out to me right before I take away the best three shots here is the consistency. So we're looking at this blue circle, even with still all eight shots up there, Notice that carry distance consistency from kind of north to south. Love to see that. I don't want to see a big, big consistent circle as this direction. I want to see it left to right because that's showing that the carry distance was very, very consistent. And that's even, that's even before taking out the uh, three best shots. So let's take out those three best shots. Okay, so three best shots here. We'll notice that 
We've got one here, one I absolutely s smoked. Notice 294 going 325. That definitely kind of stood out to me. A little higher ball speed. So that would be the one probably best shot. We'll notice there's another one here at 169.2. So another fast ball speed. And then let's see if there's anything else that stands out here. Uh, we've got 67s. Kind of interesting. How Check out that smash factor number. Every single one is 149. So it's hard for me to figure out which one is kind of really the, the, the next best shot here. Maybe we'll go on distance. Maybe we'll go, for example, this one here, a little more over there kind of to the, to the left side. So now we have the, uh, the five outliers per se. So we took away the three best shots with each driver. And let's kind of see what, what the numbers tell us, because this, this is going to be really interesting. So first up, club speed is irrelevant. Notice the club speed here is separated by about 0.4 miles an hour at the absolute most. So that's when we can focus on bull speed and, and smash factor. So I mentioned I was swinging around about 112 miles an hour. Um, bull speed. So the club that gave us the highest bull speed on the five shots that I didn't quite catch perfect was with the TaylorMade Sim 2 Max. Really interesting, 166.3. Titleist TSI 2, 165.7. Ping G425 Max, 165.1. Callaway Epic Max was 163. So a little bit less. Notice the efficiency was kind of a little bit less there as well with the Epic Max. But it's kind of interesting to note that the bull actually did spin a little bit less with the Callaway Epic Max even though I didn't quite catch it kind of perfect. So that kind of kept up with regards to distance. It actually went further than the Ping G425 Max overall um, because the spin rate was a little bit lower with the Epic Max on the miss hits, even though there was two miles an hour less ball speed than the Ping G425. Uh, if you look at launch angle, kind of interesting here, we're kind of ranged from about 15 to 17 degrees. Ideally, you want to have a high launch and low spin, and that's exactly kind of what I was getting out of these five outliers. Talking about spin rate, the Sim 2 Max did spin the least. Epic Max was the next lowest. And then we'll notice Titus TSI 2 a little bit higher, and then Ping G425 Max did spin just a little bit more. But spin is important. So if we look at the dispersion pattern, you can see here that yellow circle is pretty consistent there. So spin is going to give you control on the bull. The bull might not go quite as far, but it's going to be pretty consistent. Um, speaking of consistent, we'll know it is consistently left with the Ping G425 Max, consistently left with the Callaway Epic Max. Now I have this one outlier over here that is a little bit, a little bit shorter. If we were going to take that one out, you'll notice the distance would actually be kind of up there with the others there too. But that's definitely important because we want to keep the outliers in this test. Um, if we look at height, the highest flying ball was actually the Titleist TSI-2, 153 feet in the air. Sim 2 Max is 128 feet in the air as well. So a lot of that is because I hit up on the ball. You notice my attack angle here kind of between 6 and 7 degrees up. Uh, that's going to cause the ball to always launch high and spin low as well. So kind of interesting test. We definitely noticed as general trends. Callaway Epic Max and the Pink G425 Max generally have a little bit more of a draw bias with them. Pink TSI 2 was basically that straight, and then we've got the uh, Cal uh, then we've got the TaylorMade Sim 2 Max, which may be a little harder to kind of turn over. But I want to include every single shot up here to finish with. So now that we have all the golf shots, we don't have any of the best shots taken away. Let's take a look and see if we see any trends. Now that we have all eight shots hit, there's not one single shot taken out. Um, so let's first start with the uh, dispersion. So first thing we can kind of see here is a um, little bit more to the right with the, with the, with the TaylorMade uh, Sim 2 Max. So blue circle is a little more to the right, but also very, very consistent there on the carry distance. Um, Titleist TSI 2 was also fairly kind of consistent there on, on the carry distance. Maybe a little more in the, in the middle. Um, if we look at the Epic Max, generally, generally a trend to a little bit more to the left. The further shot to the right with this club actually was about 15 yards left of center. 
And then we have the Ping G425 Max, which had a tiny kind of little drawer. Let's carry distance, look at total distance there. You can kind of see how the uh, TaylorMade Sim 2 Max was just going a little bit further overall. Uh, you've got this one that I absolutely smoked here that went like 325 yards. Um, if we look at the numbers to finish up now that we've got all the, all the shots up here, um, we see here the highest ball speed was actually the Sim 2 Max at 167.1. So even with taking out the, the best three, we're seeing the same kind of trends there. Less spin with the Sim 2 Max, um, more spin with the G425 Max, and the other two, the Epic Max and the TSI 2, were kind of in the middle there with regards to spin. Finally, let's just see where I hit all of them on the club face. So if we look here when I was in the Sim 2 Max, that helps when you hit in the middle of the club face every single time. Ball is going to go perform pretty well. Uh, if we look at Epic Max, slightly high toll there. It's going to keep the spin rate down a little bit. Um, when I was in the ping, it was a little low on the face, and that could be part of the reason why the ball was spinning a little bit higher. But it was a little more on the toll side as well. And then TSI 2 was just slightly on the on the toll side there as well. So. These weren't all perfect shots by all means. We did take away the three best shots originally, and then we finished up taking a look at all of the eight shots with the drivers. So forgiveness is really important with drivers. MOI is kind of the big push right now with manufacturers because there definitely are limitations on ball speed. As you can see, all these drivers are very forgiving. They have general trends to maybe have a little more fade bias, a little more draw bias. Uh, but really kind of interesting test. We've got eight shots with each one, so it's a good sample size with regards to distance, dispersion, spin. So this was interesting test comparing the four big manufacturers with regards to their drivers. We've got TaylorMade, Callaway, Titleist, and Ping. If you are interested in any of these drivers or other drivers, come on into Second Swing to get fit. Also work with a club, work with a club fitter online at secondswing.com. Also, bring in your gamer when you come in for a fitting. We can also check out the value of that driver to help offset the price. We do take trades, so keep that in mind. It's a great way for you to get into a new driver at a lower cost. Come on to Second Swing and get fit like a pro.